Welcome back to Crafty Kids. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to make a paper pan that contains two omelets. So it also has like a frying thing with it. So if you can just use this and take the omelet out. So now that's any for the day. Let's get started and we'll be seeing how to make this really cool pan. So to get started, I'm just going to be making the bottom part of the pan. So for this activity, you totally need two colors of papers. So I'm going to be taking yellow and pink. So for the omelette, we need some yellow paper as well as white paper. So I'm just going to be taking some remaining white paper for doing the bottom part of the omelette. So now the, the bottom part of the pan is going to be in this uh, pink color and the side of the pan over here will be in yellow color. So get started, I'm just going to be cutting a little bit of paper. So as I said to get started, I'm cutting a little bit of paper. So we are, I'm just going to be cutting it a little bit lumpy so that uh, we can fold it and get the, the paper to be really thick. So please wait a sec until I complete cutting this. So now I've completely cut into this paper and we have a rectangular pink piece of paper. So I'll give you guys two seconds, please go and get your materials. So I hope you guys will be back. So after we take this paper, I'm going to be folding it in half like this and I'm going to be folding it in half one more time. So after we complete this, I'm going to be taking the paper to this side and I'm folding it in half one more time like this. So now I'm just going to be opening this paper back and I'm going to be applying some glue over here in one half of the paper. Now I'm going to take the other half and I'm folding it on top. Next step is that I'm going to be applying some glue over here on this half and I'm folding this paper again. So at last I'm going to be applying some glue over here and I'm going to be sticking this part like this. So after we complete this, we get a really thick color paper. So as I guys told you, I didn't tell you yet. So if you have cardboard, you can just take and stick it over here. Uh, so if you do not have cardboard, you can use this method. So if you have cardboard, you can only cut out one layer of this and you can stick it on top. Now I'm just going to be gently cutting out a small circle like this. So I'm just going to be cutting it out really slowly. Please be careful while using a scissor because there are many incidents in which small children cut their fingers. So it will take a lot of time to cut it out since this paper is really thick. So please be really careful while cutting it. So I'm just going to be cutting it really slowly like that. So I'm just going to be cutting it over here as well and I've completed cutting it now. So we have a nice small circle over here. So I'm just going to be cutting it over here a little bit to make it nice and smooth. So I'm just going to be keeping this aside and I'm, we're going to be doing this corner part. So for this I'm just going to be taking the same color paper again and I'm going to be cutting out a little more bit of it. So I'm just going to be cutting out like this much over here, it's like a small rectangle. So after we cut this paper out, I'm just going to be checking if this um, is the same size as this. So I'm just going to be wrapping it over here and checking if it fits like this covering. Now I'm going to be cutting it a little bit at the corner since it's uh, cut out already a little bit. Now I'm going to be taking this paper and I'm going to be folding it in half. The next step is that I'm just going to be cutting the paper into small strips like this until the half part of the paper. So you guys can do that. So I've already posted a video on my channel about how to make a paper cup and saucer and I use the same steps. So you guys can follow that if you guys like. So now I'm going to be cutting it out really slowly over here as well. So please wait a sec until I complete cutting this out. So I'm cutting it over here and I have last one more piece over here and I'll complete it. So the next step is that I'm going to be folding it a little bit more nicely and I'm going to be keeping it like this like in a wrapping stage. Next I'm going to be applying some glue over here in this pink color areas over here. So apply glue fully or you can just leave some space if you like. If you have the correct size you don't have to leave some space. Now I'm going to be keeping it over here and I'm just going to be rolling it slowly like this. So please apply glue before so that it can stick properly. Now I'm going to be turning it over here and now it's completed. So next step is that I'm just going to be turning the paper to the opposite side and I'm going to be rolling it on top so that it sticks properly. So please wait a sec until I complete rolling this. So if you guys uh, it's part most of the times it comes out. So if you guys do that you just have to apply more glue and make it stick because uh, there are more than 50% uh, of chances for this part to come out. So after we complete this, inserting this part, I'm going to be placing it on the bottom and I'm sticking it really well. Now I'm turning to the back part and as you guys see this part will be over here. So I'm just going to be applying some glue gently like this and I'm going to be sticking this part to it. 
So after we complete that, we'll have this part over here, lumpy thing. So I'm going to be cutting it out over here as well. So now I'm going to be taking it nice and smooth like that. So in the back, as you guys see, it won't look nice. It'll be like uh, this, plow all these sorts of things over here. So I'm taking this new color paper over here. And I'm going to be applying some glue on this piece of paper over here as well. So now I'm going to be sticking this paper to the pink one slowly like that. So after a few minutes, it will be dry. So if, uh, if you guys use nice glue, it would be uh, dry even a few seconds. So I'm just going to be cutting this part away slowly as well. So if you guys feel like it's hard to cut in it, you can just cut it in a lump part like this. And after that, you can cut it out slowly. So now I'm almost going to be completed. Now I've completed cutting, so it's nice in the back too. Now the next part is that we are going to be making the handle for this one. So I'm just going to be keeping this pink color paper aside and be taking this yellow color paper. So after we take this yellow paper, I'm just going to be cutting out a little bit as I said. So I'm just going to be cutting out this much over here and I'm going to be cutting it. I'll show you guys once I complete cutting. So now I've completed and I took out this much paper. So this is for the size of my panel you are making. So if you guys are making a bigger size panel, you can take a bigger piece of paper. Now I'm just going to be just rolling this paper over here. So you guys want to even fold it like this. So I'm going to do this slowly. So you guys can take any color combination you like. I felt that green and blue and pink and yellow are good combinations and red and orange like that. So if you guys feel like you want a different color combination, you can definitely use a different one. So now I've completed cutting this, uh, sticking this over here. And I'm going to be folding this paper a little bit at the top once it's dry. So now we're going to be doing the next part. We're going to be sticking this. So after we do this, we have two methods of sticking this. So one is that you can take this over here and you can stick it like this as I did in my previous one over here. The other one is that you can take this part and you can even put it like this and stick it. So I'm just going to, before that, I'm just going to be cutting it over here at the corner since it's really too big and it won't look nice if the handle is too big. So now I'm going to be cutting sticking it over here. So in that one, I stuck it like this. So I will teach you guys both the way. So you just have to fold it over here, apply some glue and stick it. And after some time, it will be nice and dry and will stick together. Or you could apply some glue inside this part and you could stick it like this. I feel that this is much easier and it looks more nicer. So I'm just going to be using this one this way that I did over here. So I'm just going to be applying a little bit of glue. So please wait until I stick this part over here. In the meanwhile, you guys can keep doing yours until which step you are in. So if you guys don't understand any steps, you can ask me in the comments or you can even pre-forward the video and see it. So it will take a little bit of time to make it stick. So you guys can see the before video and you can even preload this video to see this. I'll give you some time to do it. So now we've completed the pan. Now the main part is for the things inside the pan. So as you guys see, it's nice and beautiful in the pan so next i'm just going to be making two omelets so for that it's really easy so i don't think you have to hold the moisture to you but guys but if you're little i'll just teach you so i'm just going to be cutting out some really small pieces of paper like that so i just cut out a small piece like this and i'm folding it in half so now i'm just going to be cutting out a circle if it's uh, even fine if you don't have a perfect circle because omelets are not really perfect in size so as you guys know, there's also a microorganism called amoeba and uh, it doesn't have the correct size. It'll be like if you make it in any shape. So it's like that for the omelet as well. Now I'm going to be taking some yellow color paper and I'm going to be putting the same step. So I'm just going to be cutting out a small rectangular piece of paper like that. So now I'm going to be putting this paper aside. Now I'm going to be folding this paper in half and I'm going to be cutting out two small circles for the middle part of the omelet. So please provide a sec while complete. So I just feel, felt like it's more easier to make an omelette inside a pan. So if you guys feel like you want to put something else inside, so you can put spaghetti, you can put in chutney or anything like that. You can even put dosa or anything you like. So it's your wish about what you're going to be making. So I'm also going to be applying some glue over here so that it will be more easier to take and you can stick it over here. So you guys can make it according to your own size and I don't need to know much to about which size you need. You can take anything. So I just took like about, I didn't took the correct measure, take the correct measure, but if you want, it'll be like about uh, less than a centimeter, it'll be like half a centimeter or something. So I'm just going to be taking this paper over here and I'm going to be placing it inside the pan over here, as you guys see. So at last, I'm just going to be making the handle. So for that, I'm going to be taking the yellow paper again and 
I'm going to be cutting out in a rectangle of tea. So you have to make it a really rectangle, big rectangle. So I'm just going to make it as a simple thing. So I'm not going to be giving it more importance for this part. So if you guys want to make it really thick and really useful, you can take this paper on cardboard. Then you can follow the steps I'm going to be doing. So I'm just going to be cutting out a rectangle like that. And I'm just going to be cutting out like a circular path over here. I'm just going to be cutting that out and I'm just going to be taking it over here and I'm cutting it like that. So now it will be like a spoon and I'm going to be folding it like this. Now I'm folding this paper back inwards and I'm sticking it like that. So we'll have like this and as you guys see you can just take this and you can take the omelette easy, easily like that. So after we complete this our paper pan that contains an omelette and a frying stick is ready so i'll keep this things aside and i'll show you guys the final output so it looks like this so as i said it's a really easy way of making this and it's really useful too so you guys can use it for playing with your dolls and also has many uses so after we complete this our paper craft is ready so don't forget to check out my channel at Aisha's Crafty Kids Club and you can contact me anytime in the comment box and i'll definitely respond to your comments as soon as possible so hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys next time on Crafty Kids so before i conclude please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done yet like share and comment also press the bell icon so that you'll receive a notification whenever i upload a video don't forget to check out my other videos on my channel and subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos like this Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time on Crafty Kids. Bye!